It was a Monday and I had a showing in Vancouver and I was driving home. Uh, Mariner uh, Road on my way home was having construction so I decided to do a different route that day and went brunette. I was driving uh, up the street by Mackin Park and there was an elderly gentleman walking that kind of stood out. I don't know why he stood out, but for me, it was just like one of those gut instincts that there was something wrong. And so I kind of paid attention to him because I wanted to turn around and go see if he needed help. But of course, being a real busy realtor uh, with a family, I decided to just go home and I got a no notification almost about five o'clock the next day. I was sitting with my family, I opened it up, I clicked on the picture and I saw the person that I saw the day before. And it had said that he was last seen in Vancouver. Well, I live in Coquitlam, so I was not sure that it was him. So I phoned the non-emergency police phone number and I said, well, I think I might have seen him. So I met the police officers in the area where I saw this gentleman and described what I saw. And they also brought a couple more pictures for me to see. And from there, I pretty, was pretty sure that I did see him. So I was feeling a lot of guilt at that point because what if something happened and I could have prevented? Um, I was thinking about the family, you know, um, what I would feel like if one of my loved ones was missing. So it was pretty emotional for me um, and I'm sure for their family. No matter what happened to this gentleman, I would want to know. And then the next morning, I had an email from the police officer saying they did find him. He was um, okay, a little cold and dehydrated, but getting help and back with his family. So I was thrilled. Um, and I'm thrilled that I was able to be a part of helping someone like that.